The School of Innovation is quite different from the traditional learning environment. We have flexible space, um, meaning students don't always spend most of their day in one classroom and one desk. It's different for a teacher and for a student because they get to drive the instruction and as a teacher to plan that, you can't plan too far in advance. It's exciting because we know that it's authentic for the kids to learn that. Um, it's a little scary because it's unknown, it's like uncharted waters that we're going into, but um, that's part of the excitement of being here. This is a great place for students with all different needs and abilities to be able to learn. The students can be grouped by their ability, they can be grouped by their interest. It just depends on what we're working on and it will really meet everybody's needs the best way possible. The biggest difference now at the new school is that um, we purposely design learning uh, so that it's more student-centered. Put like a slide, like a test. To the that. kids are taking charge of the learning more than the adults are. One of the very special projects that we'll do here at the School of Innovation is our capstone project. Students trying to solve a real-world problem. The design process that we're going through is always asking why. So the first thing, our question was, what are we going to do with our outdoor learning space? One hoop there and like a smaller hoop over here. The second part is to explore it. And that keeps going back to the question, why are we doing this? We need to make sure that we don't make huge mistakes, but if we make those mistakes, it's okay. Anytime you're learning anything, that's how you learn from them. There may never be a perfect answer, but we're just gonna try every bit to get as close as we can to the best solution for us. I really feel as if the kids are seeing it as a big school-wide project, and each one of them is investigating a different piece, a different part, um, but we're going to spend a lot of time getting back together there are a lot of teachers in our district that are already using problem-based learning. This school being a platform school, we want to find best practices using that philosophy of teaching, which children love because they get to work together, they collaborate, they can exhibit and, and almost show off and perform what they've learned. And when they can show other people what they've learned and explain it, we know they understand it. I like to work with different ages because you get to see what they're thinking and they're studying different things than us and what we're studying may help what they're studying or what they're studying may help what we're studying. If we ask them questions, they give us answers, they ask us questions, we give them answers. When I first started this journey, I didn't even know what a Fab Lab was. I actually signed up for Fab Academy. Through my Fab Academy, I was introduced to each piece of equipment, given a project to create, showing mastery for each piece of equipment, and then a final project where we had to incorporate every piece of equipment in our final project. I was blown away by the things that you can create. Our students here are able to create many different things using programs that we have, SketchUp, CorelDRAW, Tinkercad but a district that does not have those resources available to them are still not limited in what they can do. You are able to go online and, and pull files from many different places. We've used Thingiverse, we've used Inflatables, but when you download a file, you are welcome to go to any Fab Lab that has public hours, and you can bring your files in and you can use our equipment to create your files. Recently our third graders were working on an activity in science where they were trying to filter water. So they were trying different materials and one of the students came up with an idea to create a drain. So we used one of their ideas and we fabricated this uh, on 3D printer. You can just print this from the computer, save it to a flash drive and bring it to any fab lab and you would be able to print your object from their file. When I think about what our students are being exposed to, I have no idea what what they will be able to design and build to solve problems that don't even exist yet. I find that absolutely exciting.